everybody, today I'm here in Belgrade, Serbia and I'm going to go around and check out the dating scene, so come and join me. Let's find out what dating in Serbia is really like. I gotta admit, I definitely had some serious stereotypes before coming to Belgrade. I thought the Serbs would be an intimidating bunch. Stone-faced, reserved, extremely direct, and definitely not willing to waste time chatting to a foreigner like me, especially in English. The men, super macho, and the women dropped dead gorgeous. And the dating style, quite traditional. And, okay, it turned out some of these stereotypes had quite a bit of truth to them. But which ones? Serbians are very direct people. Oh yeah, very much so. No bullshit, like everybody straight to the point. And it's generally very interesting for people, especially when they come from cultures like, I don't know, British or something like that. American. When they're like, American, yeah, they're like, mm, you know, and, they, and there's this like, not, not a dose of passive aggressive, but like, I'm not fully understanding. They, they see being direct as confrontational. No, no, we're like straight to the point, you know, let's, let's yeah. sort everything out and we can finish and then talk about something else. If you're a guy, you, you, you present yourself like you, I don't know, flash your watch, buy expensive drink, uh, present value in that sense, and then you end up in a situation where you're like, just uh, dancing like this, uh, flirting is like, you know, holding a bottle of beer and like. Hi guys, do you speak English? Yeah, I speak English. You speak English? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we wanted to ask you some questions about dating. Dating? Oh, I know everything. You know everything. Tell yeah, us everything about dating. Are you from England? No, I'm from Canada. Canada. So tell us. So what should foreign women know about Serbian men? Uh, Serbian men are really loud and they seem aggressive but they're really gentle actually. So if a foreign woman can pass that thing she will maybe be happy on the Serbian soil. That's beautiful. Thank you for that. What are you guys drinking? Uh, Drink what be you beer. Just a lot of beer. A lot of beer. <laughs> lot Canada of beer. is a good place, I think. Yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. It's a Better good place. Better than America, I think. Okay. Yeah. Tell us, what is your type of woman? My type of woman is a pretty woman. <laughs> like the movie. I don't love a smart uh, woman. <laughs> If she's a pretty, she's a good one. Just pretty, not smart. Yeah. Uh, if she's a pretty, she's a smart, I think. If, and if she's smart, she's not if pretty. If she's smart, that's her problem, I think. You're, you're a philosopher. No, so I'm not a philosopher. <laughs> so beautifully said. I'm not a philosopher. Okay, last question for you. What is something not to do on a date with a Serbian man? Not to do on a date, uh, take his chevap. Don't take his chevap. Okay. Let him be, and he will take your chevapi if he wants. Uh, do, uh, don't refuse Rakia. Don't refuse Rakia. That the means that you are not from the good house. Less than a year ago, I was with my friend in a club, uh, like mid-COVID, semi-open, but mm -hmm. the club were open, and we ended up talking with a few girls from uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, oh, you know, on one side, Serbian men are great because you're more direct, you're more flamboyant, you're more... Uh, temperamental, yeah. yeah, these kind of things, right? But then on the other side was like, oh, but sometimes you're too pushy, sometimes you're, mm -hmm. uh, you know, too, too, too macho. Yeah, too macho and all these kind of things, right? I have a very controversial view on women. Uh, okay. I like my women feminine. Yes, <laughs> I don't think that's controversial at yeah, all. Yeah. I know it's scary not. Scary how it's become controversial. It, it became controversial because, uh, like, and of course, men need to be manly. Yes. Now, I'm not saying that that requires uh, me to go in a, a fight or two per evening or like do these kind of things but like you know I can there there are various ways you can define that. If you <laughs> like a girl go straight to her that's it. If you want to wait you wait a few minutes just to see like if she's with somebody so you don't cause a scene yeah but anything above that is like there's no point. Uh, 
uh, men are mostly still traditional in a way that they think that they should be in charge in a relationship, you know, and they should earn money and all that, and the women should earn less and be more quiet and shy and, you know, follow the lead mm -hmm. of a man. So if you fit into that mold, it is not really complicated to date here or find somebody to be in a relationship with. But if you don't agree with that, if you're like me, more like a more, let's say, modern and more about equality, then it's a bit complicated. So yeah, they still like to be in charge. I don't like about the culture here is that people don't really follow their idea of what they want. They just do what they're supposed to do. You know? Interesting. So I don't mind if somebody wants to be that person where the guy leads and the woman follows. That's okay. But if that's what you want, mm. not if that's what something that your mother or brother or I don't know grandpa said, you must do it that way. There is no other option. Yeah. Well, in my personal opinion, and I am a woman, uh, I think that uh, women in Serbia are gorgeous because they have that natural beauty, mm -hmm. and uh, on the other side, so many different influences are the reason uh, why Serbian women are on the one side blondies, on the other side uh, with the dark hair. They're all beautiful because they have that something which is a consequence of all the different influences in Serbia. They love to wear high heels everywhere, even in a cobblestone streets. So it's very typical to see in Serbia. And uh, they really want to show that they care about their physical uh, appearance. So it's something normal to see uh, women with uh, full makeup, with nice hair, dresses, everything. It's expected of women to look perfect, like models, and all the time. And if she doesn't look that way, then people say like, oh, now nobody's gonna want her. And if a guy is dating her, everybody else is be like, uh, nah, that's not good for his reputation, you know? So a woman's look is basically a lot or everything here if she looks like a model she's desirable and if she doesn't no matter what else she has to offer it doesn't matter as much so women here also i hear are very relationship oriented there's not a really a big hookup culture where you know you cannot expect as a foreign guy to come here and just hook up with girls it also depends mm -hmm. because on one side as i told you you have very polite uh, and well-educated girls who really want a serious relationship and they want to go on with something, you know. But uh, on the other side, uh, in, like plastic surgery is very popular in Serbian culture and you have uh, women, I don't want to generalize of yeah, course, but yeah. you have many women that just want to, to show status and they expect a status from a man. and. Uh, that is somehow connected with hookups and everything. So welcome to Serbia and Silicon Valley. But it's, it has nothing to do with startups, with technology. It has all to do with the silicons that women would uh, <laughs> augment themselves <laughs> with. Every girl was a gold digger at that time. Every guy was trying, uh, who was trying to bling up. It was a controversial businessman or a criminal, something like that. Very different right now. Do you, do you want to answer some questions for us? We're doing a video on dating, on the dating scene in Belgrade. Oh, like an interview? Like an interview, yes. Oh, if I don't have a time, Eva, if you want. Oh, I'm famous here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, have a good night. Hello. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, we nice to meet you too. COVID hug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. So what is this area actually? This is uh, Tsetinska, which is, it's sort of like a parking lot where they started opening up uh, bars and it just mushroomed into lots of different bars and stuff. And then the residents started complaining, so they only stay open till midnight. But it's a good place for cafes and, you know, some live music sometimes. So I'm actually curious, because you're Canadian-Serbian. No. You're Serbian Canadian? No, my family is German from Slovakia. They moved to Canada a while ago, and um, yeah, I'm also part Ukrainian. You're also, I'm also part Ukrainian. Yeah. But Very I mean, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I really warmed to the place, and ha it has an openness in a way that Canada did not have. But at the same time, it's also a traditional society. That's the paradox, where yeah. they're really friendly and open, but at the same time. In their own way, to each other, they're closed. 
they're really friendly to foreigners, but Serbs to each other can be kind of, you know, nasty and cynical and negative. And that they're much closer with the friendly, much more collectivistic society where they're depending on each other, they're calling each other up all the time, they're helping each other with little stuff, whereas in Canada it's sort of just like really individualistic. It's really like, um, I do my thing and I'm going to make my money and have my success and you know, it's not as social. It doesn't have that pleasure of social life. And it's very real yeah. here, right? Yeah, like it's real. I miss it's, this. <laughs> it's high energy. It's real. It's very like um, loud and proud. Yadranka. 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 Marina. Marina. Nice to meet you. How do you say nice to meet you? Anya, nice to meet you. How do you say nice to meet you? Dragomir. For me, it's very important to be funny. Because I want to laugh and it's amazing. I don't want that he was boring or something. Yeah, it's important to laugh and for you. Yeah, definitely. That's very important I don't want to 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 men don't be uptight uptight you want them to not yes be uptight. some kind of casual type of guy or uh, some kind of uh, definitely uh, have a taste of humor yeah, yeah? humor is the greatest one yeah don't matter uh, of the look definitely look it's not the main one definitely so the look it is must, not the main. you no, must have a important. soul to listen some kind of different music to 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 taste some other food uh, to in, uh, and enjoying in our company, definitely. Okay. In humor, yeah, definitely. Humor is the greatest one, yep. definitely. Would you prefer to date a Serbian man or a foreign man? Oh my God, uh, Serbian definitely, because I, 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 I'm I back uh, from uh, Switzerland. So uptight, so uptight men, they don't laugh. No, I don't, no, 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 I, I don't uh, recognize that kind of like a Serbian man or a British man. Yeah. Or, no, definitely, I don't uh, see the, the, the point, but I see when it comes the dark, they are like so uptight, so, ooh, no, I don't like it. I don't like that. I like uh, some casual guys. Fun, uh, easy yeah. going, have yeah, easy joke. going, be alive. Easy going. To be alive. Yes. The culture embraces wackiness and craziness and emotional emotional people and emotional sort of like hard tempered southern European um, self-expression which um, makes for really dramatic love. There's been lots of war in this country. So it's, it's really this craziness is bred into the culture over many generations. They've had conquering armies coming for hundreds of years in here. So, so there's like this weird thing where they're always like sort of like open, welcome and friendly, but they're always have like this boundary up and always kind of like checking you or seeing if they can trust you and all this sort of stuff. And if you had to choose an international guy, what country would you lean towards? So somebody somebody more from the warmer region, somebody with Nor like uh, yeah, not Norway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I> understand <laughs> but somebody a bit more like tem with more temperament, so I would presume like uh, Italy, know. Spain, da, 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 Portugal, Greece, yeah? Da, da. yeah okay, about okay. Latin America? Brazil. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she's open up she's, <laughs> she's open, open to any possibility. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. They have strong values here and that's one of the selling points. Um, for a lot of my friends who got married here is like you get a woman and it's it's like you have a real relationship. It's like you're forming a real family unit, you're having a real like you know her family accepts you as one of them and you basically get accepted as part of the... This is a very easy place to feel accepted as a foreigner. Hey guys! Hi! <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> nice to meet you! So... Marina, nice to meet you! Hello! Hello! What's your name? 
how has it been moving to Serbia? Because you don't really see a lot of Africans here in general at all, right? No. Do you feel like you stand out as a sore thumb or do you feel yes. like it's normal? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to, for it to become normal because I thought like the first year a lot of stares and a lot of can I take a picture and that's kind of sweet. <laughs> After a while, it gets really boring because you don't have, there's no privacy. You can't go anywhere and sit privately, you know? There's a stereotype about black men, especially here. And it's like every woman wants a black man here. Oh. So it makes dating here quite difficult because you get a lot of advances. Yeah. But you don't know, you don't want to be rude. It's yeah. both sides, both the men and the women. And the, and the men as yeah. well, that's, that's yeah. something. For the men, it's exotic to have a black woman. For the women, it's exotic to have a black man. You would say like to black guys, like, come here. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I mean, that's what I tell people. I, I do get a lot of questions about living here, racism and all that. Yeah. Like, you don't have any problem with racism. That's right? so it's interesting. It's like reverse. But what was really difficult for me in the beginning was the drinking part. Whenever we went anywhere, any outing, you know, and they want you to keep up with them, you know. They don't want you drinking one when they're drinking two. You have to keep up, you know, and it's not always beer, especially when you're a foreigner. When you first come, everyone wants you to try the rakia. Yeah. And the thing is, everyone's rakia is different. So it doesn't matter if you already tried rakia, you have to try my own rakia, you know. Her dad, her dad doesn't ask you if you want more. He sees your glass empty, he's gonna fill it up. If you're drinking slowly, he's gonna complain that you're drinking slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't escape drinking with her dad. Uh, it's so almost disrespectful to go and not drink. Definition of a strong independent woman, like they can literally go do it themselves. You know, they, in 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 a in a Serbian home, the woman basically does everything. You know, they can do everything, just like the Russian women too. Mm -hmm. They're very strong mm -hmm. in that, and they would not take any. They wouldn't take rubbish from any man, yeah. honestly. So, but <laughs> the, the, the real trick to dating a certain woman is you really need to show that you're the man. And I'm not talking just the man, you know, but you need to be able to compose yourself. They like that, you know. They also want the firm authority, you know, but you need to, I, uh, I just, how do you say that? You need to prove that. Like, yeah. financially, it's important. You know, you need to be financially strong. That's standard here. And you need to have a flair, you know. It's not just the finance. You need to have a flair. You need to be out there. They don't like shy guys, you know. Mm, okay. Confident, but not too confident. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> Is it getting it, right? <laughs> yes, yes. That's yeah. one of the things that attracted me to her, being a strong woman and powerful and hardworking, you know. So, at the end of the day, maybe I'm not attracted to what I grew up in, you know. The yeah. Being submissive, that's not my thing. You got to have your own opinion. Yeah, you know, that's strong but feminine, I find, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. uh, women here, they still have femininity, they're not in your face, but they're also very... Yeah. Very, very strong. Yeah. I haven't dated Serbian women, I'm just, <laughs> just for the record, it just, this is my kind of... Uh, <laughs> you can try. <laughs> um, How long are you here? You can hook you up with someone. Nah. <laughs> I met you and I was like, okay, she seems very Latin. Right. She's a little Latina. <laughs> you don't seem Serbian to me. I know. People tell me that all the time. Serbian people and especially foreign people. When foreign people meet me, they're like, no way, you're just Serbian. I'm like, no way. You have some mix in there. I'm like, I don't, really. I don't, but I know. But I hear that like Serbs, they are just like in general, like very mixed people. So yeah. you can see, you can get a bit of everything. Yeah, right? that's true. That's true. That's the next question I ask them. Like, so what is a typical Serbian yeah. girl or a guy? How would you describe them? Because there is no one typical look here. Yeah. We're very mixed. And because of the, all the Turkish culture we have here, that is why we kind of got mixed with darker skin, darker hair. Serbians in my head were just like very serious ex-Yugoslavians, but it's not, I don't think that's ex exactly true. I think people are very friendly here. I think that this is the most, one of the most mixed cultures in Europe, where there's like a bit of everything, you know, if you look at it, it's like Turkey, Turkey's right there, Greece is right there, Italy's right there, Hungary, Austria, you know, Russia, other Slavic countries, they're all right there, and they've all yeah. influenced this culture. And somehow Serbian culture is its own cohesive whole thing that's taken the best of so many other cultures. Yes. And and so it's it's very there's a lot of variation. It's not just this stone cold European Slavic thing, but you have that. 
It's not just this warm, friendly, um, central, uh, southern European thing, but you have that. It's not just this like orderly central European, you know, Austro-Hungarian Austro Empire thing, but you have that. So it's the crossroads of everything, that's why I love this place. We have many similarities in mentality, in cuisine, in music, with Middle East, with also Mediterranean area, but the most popular is turbo folk music. And if we talk about lyrics, it is not so deep. <laughs> yeah, everything is about like, you're a hot chick, I have a great car, <laughs> let's move on together, you know. And uh, on the other side you have also other places where you can hear other types of Serbian music which is very present among Serbs, so we don't force international music so much. Okay, let's go drink and party and eat and we're like best friends now for forever and stuff like that. I know people don't expect that because all the foreigners I've met were surprised by it. They were like, what? People party every day, clubs are open every day, people drink every day. Don't ever, like, don't people work? I like, yeah, they work, but after work they go and drink and party. I originally, originally uh, suggested we go to one of the best pizza bars, Maestro Margarita, in Belgrade. But then, because we're talking about dating, going out, these kind of things, we're gonna go and eat the worst and the best in one go. When you eat it, you, you feel, you know, it's, it's divine. No, 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 when you eat it, it's divine. Yeah. Afterwards, you feel disgusting. And the morning after, you're like, what the fuck did I do to my stomach? It's Cash. just a hole in it's, the it wall, It doesn't literally. change. It hasn't changed since, I think, 1996. Ciao. Maybe I'll Gaze your eyes upon the worst and the best pizza oh. ever. Oh, let me see it. Oh. Come, 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 you haven't seen it. <laughs> this does not, not look like a pizza at so all. So it's all, it's all about the, the sauce. It's all about the salad, the beef salad. This is the authentic experience. This is experience. the ultimate experience. This is like you're, you're finished going out in Belgrade. You're half drunk. You need to eat something because you're hungry. You go yes. for this. Let's go. Dig in. This is good. This is so good. Yeah. Italians probably would yeah. kill you, but this die. is really good. They would die. Yeah. Every time we order this pizza, one Italian fell from Vespa. Oh wow, this is very good. Yeah? Mm hmm. <laughs> so many of my stereotypes were crushed during my short trip to Serbia. Were the men macho and the women drop dead gorgeous? Many of them, yes. Were the people just as unapologetically direct as I imagined? Pretty much. You know where you stand with the Serbs. As for the rest? Surprisingly, it turned out that Belgrade was one of the friendliest places I've ever gotten a chance to travel to. In a country where tourism is still not that prevalent, majority of the people are extremely open to foreigners, eager for a conversation, a connection, a laugh, a drink, and a party. Passionate, temperamental, stoic, serious, traditional, modern. You get all of that in Serbia. A country at the crossroads of so many places that makes it especially hard to define. But the best feeling for me? the realness of the place. The ability to meet someone new and forgo the small talk. We get to the core from the get-go here, and there is no feeling more genuine than that. <laughs>